Good morning, everyone. Hurricane Florence is powerful, slow, and relentless. It's an uninvited brute who doesn't want to leave. The storm surge alone has overwhelmed the city of New Bern. Overnight, there are over 100 swift water rescues in this great city, and we expect more. Other cities and counties across North Carolina are facing challenges and will continue to face challenges over the next few days and weeks. The eye of the storm made landfall on the North Carolina coast near Wrightsville Beach at 7.15 a.m. this morning. And we've seen wind gusts in Wilmington as high as 105 miles an hour, the highest recorded since 1958. The sun rose this morning on an extremely dangerous situation, and it's getting worse. The storm is going to continue its violent grind across our state for days and be a major inland event as well. To those in the storm's past, path, if you can hear me, please stay sheltered in place. Do not go out in this storm. The Weather Service says flash flooding will be extreme and flood waters will come up quickly and seemingly out of nowhere. We face multiple threats. Storm surge pounding our beaches, pushing seawater into rivers, and flooding homes and other structures. Rainwater and surge are forcing sounds and rivers over their banks. Roads across eastern North Carolina are underwater. Right now, our predictions show that the Lumber and Cape Fear rivers will crest significantly higher than they did with Hurricane Matthew. Other rivers will have significant flooding as well. And remember that rivers will keep on rising for days, even after the rain stops. Stay alert for evacuation notices around these rivers and leave if you are told to. Otherwise, stay indoors and off the roads. Don't put your life or the lives of emergency responders in danger. Here are updates since our last briefing. Right now, we have about a half a million North Carolinians without power, concentrated in Carteret, Onslow, Craven, Pender, New Hanover, and Brunswick counties. That number is rising even as we speak. Utility crews from all over the country are standing by to restore power when it's safe for them to be out. We have approximately 20,000 or so people in 157 shelters. That number fluctuates. More shelters will be set up. High winds will pick up through central North Carolina today, putting trees, homes, and power lines at risk. We've seen storm surge as high as 10 feet on the Noose River. And we're also seeing flooding along Bogue Sound at Beaufort, the Trent River, the Pungo River at Bellhaven, the Pamlico River at Washington, and Pamlico Sound. Rivers are rising to dangerous levels and the relentless rains will continue through the weekend. For some parts of southeastern North Carolina, one forecast shows a thousand year rain event. Rescue crews are working in risky, dangerous conditions that will only get worse today. Don't put them or yourself at risk. Stay indoors. Don't drive through water. Never use a generator indoors. Don't fly drones in a disaster area. If you do, rescue helicopters will have a difficult time operating. Be alert and listen to the radio for warnings about wind, tornadoes, rising water, or orders to shut off gas, water, and power. We are expecting several more days of rain 
and our focus now is getting people away from immediate danger. And then we will shift into putting our communities back together.